Oh my god, I'm Simpy Sam Weekle. You know what you need to do? You need to prioritize women. You also need to pedestalize women. Oh! I just had an orgasm. Because that's how I feel whenever I talk about how much women are better than men. That's correct. You need to take their abuse too as well. What you need to do is you need to let women walk all over you. Because I'm a simp. I prioritize women. And then I get walked all over. But that's okay because I'm beneath women. I really hate myself inside. And that's why I hate guys like that jerk who wears that damn light vest. Oh, I watch him all the time. I wish I could be like him. But in, but in, but I just, the only thing I can do is write nasty comments about how you hate women. And you're hurt and bitter. Because I love Karen Cockbander. I love bitches like that who treat me like shit. Because women love simps. They treat us like shit, but that's love to me. <laughs> the simps are going to get it today, guys. They are going to get it today. They're going to get smacked upside the fucking head. What's really amazing about simps... We're going to get into it today. Simps... Women do love simps. Western women. And at the same time, they cannot stand simps. They love simps for what simps provide. Simps provide free attention, guys. Free attention. The woman's currency, it will never change, guys. You could give a woman, you could say, you could give a woman a billion dollars, give her a choice, a billion dollars or free attention for life. Constant attention, constant simping. Now, what is simping? It's simping is not, it, it's not a very complicated concept, guys. It's pr the prioritization and pedestalization of women. That's all it is. Whenever you put women before yourself and prioritize them, that is simping. Now, it's not being nice to them and all this other bullshit. Guys, you can be nice to women and not be a simp. Does that make sense? Just because you don't have a bad... Like, for example, women talk to me all the time who have great attitudes. Surpri I know, guys, it's going to blow your mind. But there's Western women all the time that talk to me that are nice, polite. Oh, you know, they'll hold the door for me or just... And I'm nice to them back. I have no problem with them. But I know that if I was in a relationship with them, it would be completely different. Now, the simp does not understand this. The simp, obviously, has been brainwashed at a very young age to hate himself, to despise who he is. And by the way, it's the easiest thing for guys to, you know, to get into. We've all simped. You know, we've all been simpy Sam. There's no doubt. But it doesn't excuse the fact that, you know, you got to put the smack down. And that's really what we're going to get to in this episode. About how there is a quiet civil war going on. And it's getting louder. Between masculine men and weak effeminate men. And or simps. And it's going on right now. It's, it's, all. Oh, there's always been that tension there. But now it's all out civil war. And it's quiet. It's getting louder, but it's quiet. Does that make sense? Like you've got the Andrew Tates who are much, much louder and almost all the men for I know I make fun of the dating coaches and all this shit. We're all saying very similar things. We just execute on very, very different ways. There's certain things about the dating coaches I say, good for them. At least, you know, they're getting that, that out there. But the way they go about it, it, it doesn't... I don't agree with it. But if that's what they want to do, then they can more... I'm more than happy to go ahead and say that good for them. Right, because this stuff is becoming more and more mainstream. And even the little normies are starting to parrot these, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Um, not phrases, but uh, ideologies. Right, but this quiet civil war, what it's about is, you guys would think that it would be the women versus the men, but that's not what's happening right now, guys. And it's never been about that. It's never about fighting the little ladies. It has nothing to do with that. It's about the, uh, you know, it's about the simps from the get-go just completely taking accountability away from women. And as soon as they did that, all hell broke loose. They took accountability away and they kowtowed and they bent over backwards to let, simps, uh, to let women do whatever they want. As soon as that happened, you get the results you get today. Right? Women failing left and right. And the reason why women are so pissed off is because they know it's true. They know that the simps have let them run amok. Why do women all... Guys, why do women always say 
I want a man who puts me in my place. Because that's what they want. They know that they need it. Why do they always say that they're crazy? I'm crazy. I'm psychotic. Oh, I need it on headbands. The reason being is because they have no man to keep them in check. That's why we were put here, guys. Whether you guys believe it or not. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have a wife, no girlfriend, none of that crap. I'm not leading anybody who's a retard. Do you get what I'm saying? If I'm going to do it, it's going to be with a foreign traditional woman who's already been trained. She already knows what the fuck to do. What I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is it's not our job to train them and to keep them in check and all this crap. Our job is to protect them from themselves. And that's about as true as it gets. But I don't think we should have to do the work to keep them in check. That doesn't make any sense. That's the mother and the father's job. And if they haven't done that, you shouldn't be with her. I repeat, if the parents haven't done it, you shouldn't be with her, which means that that eliminates 99.9% of Western women because they've run amok. And the issue comes when you've got the little simps telling them they could do whatever they want with no re repercussions because that's what the simps do. They allow them to do whatever they want. And we're going to pick we're going to pick up the slack. We're going to do anything that you want. That's what they do. And that doesn't work. Anytime you take accountability away, it's like having a child with no rules. You see what happens. They run amok and that's why single mother raised kids are usually out of control because there's no father around to keep them on the straight and narrow. And this is why simps and masculine men will never get along. Never. You heard me. They're never going to get along. And they're never going to see eye to eye. And by the way, simping is only actually prominent in Western society. It's not prominent in Eastern society, in Latin America, in Africa. Guys, you don't see any of that crap. Zero percent because they know they need to put the smack down that somebody has to lead. And that's why women love simps but they hate them at the same time because they know they're not leading them that's why they get bored with simps that's why there's always why do you think women need hyper masculine men in western society because they have no structure there's a deficit guys there's always balance the one thing i've learned one of the biggest things i'm learning in life there's always equilibrium there's always balance eventually right so for example when you take away masculinity for men and you tell them they're you know they need to pee sitting down you make them effeminate what do the women have to do they have to go ahead and create equilibrium by filling in that void of masculinity that's why western women are so masculine they have to fill in the void of masculinity they need to create equilibrium and the reason why there's so much andrew tate and you know red pill this and all this right now is because simping is at an all-time high that's why there's a civil war that's why there's so much of this back and forth do you see what i'm saying and eventually there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser and that's another reason why this message is so important and that it can't stop we have to keep going and that's why i'm not stopping my content anytime soon we have generals in the fight we have freaking lieutenants but it's a civil war guys make no mistake it's about as real as it gets, and the simps are trying to defeat you. You who's watching this video. You who's sitting there going, you know what? I think he's right. You who's sitting there saying, you know what? I don't agree with you. It still doesn't matter, guys. There's a civil war going. Now, most of you guys aren't going to go to other countries and live there. So you're going to have to put up or shut up. You're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to do something about it in either direct ways or indirect ways. Because if you do nothing, you're going to be in a world of hurt. It's going to get much, much worse. <clears throat> and I've already predicted that it will get as bad as guys being able to be deleted with women having no repercussions. It's coming. We keep letting things go the way they go. It's a call to action, gentlemen. And the simps, the simps, you know, they want to keep doing it. Because, you see, you have to understand, guys. Simps think that they're that if they let women do whatever they want, kiss their asses, that they're gonna have sex with them. They realize very quickly that they can't get the little ladies. 
that the only way they can get them is by being friends first and by the the the, the masculine guy hurting their feelings breaking their heart and then them having a chance with the western woman what's interesting about simps guys is simps are only are only attractive after the western woman has had her heart broken she's over the hill she's ran through now the simp is attractive and not only that simps are not attractive to women overseas isn't that intriguing simps and western women only exist in western society it's really fascinating guys actual foreign traditional women i've talked to foreign traditional women overseas when i was overseas i'm crazy dude guys i interview women even if i don't hook up with them i'm still like always curious about the way people think and i'll show them videos about you know guys who are simping and and you holy shit that's an owl jesus christ guys (laughs) there's a couple owls in socal that are just like massive and you just see them like staring at you it just fucking scares the shit out of you because they're they're huge you know three four five (laughs) wingspan it's like jesus anyway i'll talk to these traditional foreign women about simps and i'll show them videos of guys simping and oh oh and the (laughs) the traditional foreign women will be completely repulsed and turned off because the reason being is because she's feminine she's not in her feminine energy and all this you know she's submitting guys traditional foreign women don't submit they already are feminine there's no switching on or off they're always that way that's why they're always happy 99% 99% of the time, your little tra- tra- traditional foreign lady, even the Hispanic ones, are going to be happy. They're so used to having support from strong masculine men. They're so, guys, it's natural to them. They hate, they can, they are absolutely repulsed by weak men. And now, so, okay, so go with me on this. The Western woman f- feels the exact same way. When the Western woman is in her masculine in her masculine energy you know all this nonsense mumble jumbo she is attracted to the simp right because she's been hurt now she's mad oh the fucking that chad broke my heart oh and she's really low and depressed now she goes after the simp i don't want to be hurt anymore Mm, i'm bitter and hurt then she goes do you see do you see what i'm getting at but when the western woman is in her feminine She's attracted to the masculine guy. It makes sense, doesn't it? Once you put it all together, guys, it's really, it just, it fits. And I've been studying this for years. It just, it all clicked just like that. So what I'm getting at is the simp is not a long-term phenomenon. The simp will die out just like the Western woman. As the Western woman dies off, the simp will die off as well. It's crazy, isn't it? The, the simp has no choice because he's not going to be able to pro- procreate with a feminine woman. The feminine woman is is not going to go after the simp. Do you see what I mean? And that's why simps. A lot of a lot of guys are uh, worried that simps are going to ruin the world. They definitely ruined Western women. They let Western women get away with tons. And I went over this in my last um, simps video. But essentially, yeah, guys, they're going to die off. The more we put our foots on their necks and put pressure on and start stamping out all this weakness, the quicker it's going to happen. That's all. Isn't it crazy? But it all makes sense. It all comes full circle, gentlemen. And it's all about ebb and flow. And so, look, there's plenty of guys that probably watch this channel that are simps that are trying to get their shit together. They are undoing all the brainwashing. They're undo- Guys, we've all simped. I simped... Uh, from like 18, age 18 to 19, 19, 18 to 19-ish. That was a whole, and by the way, I was in monk mode at that time too. But then I started simping because I was constantly told over and over and over again, you need to be nice to women. What the fuck? (laughs) These fucking squirrels, man. These squirrels are weird. They do weird things in the middle of the night. Anyway, I would, I simped for, Almost two years of just straight weakness. Oh, it's okay. Women can do whatever they... Because I was so indoctrinated with that fucking nonsense. 
And the only way to snap a simp out who does want to be snapped out of it is to really attack that weakness. And to, yeah, he's going he's gonna to be hurt. <laughs> the simp is going to be hurt in the long run. Especially with Western woman. Western woman's not going to get with the simp at a young age. It's not happening. And usually, guys, simps have very, very, very low self-esteem. Simps hate themselves deep down. They, they, don't th- they don't think they're worthy of anything. They're the lowest form. They might even be lower than Western women, guys. Because they protect um, unaccountable women. Yeah, it's disturbing. But don't, guys, if you are a simp or you've simped in the past, don't beat yourself up. It's going to pass as you get back into your mas- masculine. I hate that. I hate that there has to be energy and in going in and Guys, you either are masculine or you're not. And if you're not, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You're just never going to procreate. Because you guys have to understand, that's why simps never existed before. Their genes die off. Do you see what I mean? They can't procreate. They don't complete the cycle. They don't, uh, you know, survival of the fittest. All that crap. Whether you believe in evolution or in, it's irrelevant. That's the way it is. Yeah, and if look, guys, if you've simped in the past, once again, it's all right. We all have. We have to learn. But once you come out of that, once you get back to your, you know, feeling masculine again, and understanding that you can be nice to traditional foreign women, and they're going to, they're actually going to care about you and love you, quote unquote, <laughs> you, you're going to be blown away, guys. You can be nice to a traditional foreign woman and not be simple because you're never, guys, you're never going to prioritize her and she doesn't expect you to either. That's the fascinating thing about traditional foreign women. They don't expect you to prioritize them. Oh, I know you're busy at work. Don't worry about it. You know, they don't call you every fucking five seconds and blow up your phone like a Western woman and constantly nitpick. What were you doing? I'm meat guarding. I'm Karen Cockbender. You need to check in with me every five minutes. Or else I'm going to harass you. <laughs> Karen's scaring the people out here. <laughs> you need to. If you don't do it, I'm going to snap your. F- I'm going to. I'm going to peg you tonight, Sonny boy. You're going to get it. <laughs> that's what she. <laughs> that's what she's going to do to you guys. It's going to be fantastic. But yeah. Yeah, guys, the Sims aren't going to be around forever. Not happening. They're too weak. They always die off. And that's why, guys, liberalism never can. Conti- liberalism will never stand the test of time. It never has, guys. Liberalism has been around since the beginning of time, but it's never lasted. It's never sustained. F- first wave feminism, then after that dies. Second wave, it never sustains, guys. It can't. The only thing that stands the test of time is conservatism. Period. Whether you guys like it or not. And by the way, once again, I'm not conservative or liberal. It's just I'm more in the middle. It's, it's just it's never going to stand the test of time. Liberalism. So, in actuality, simps will die off. But the more you guys get back to masculinity, enjoying yourself, prioritizing yourself, guys, you're going to be cool. You're going to be happy as hell. Because you won't be prioritizing them. Does that make sense? You're going to be prioritizing yourself. And that's essentially what the little... What the hell? That's what the little traditional, you know, foreign ladies, that's what they, that's what they, they, they expect that. They see that as normal, right? So for example, if you're at work or you're out with your friends, traditional foreign woman understands this. She's going to be completely on the same page with you. She's not going to be barking orders at you like Karen. She's going to be completely cool with that because she understands how guys think. The issue with simps and western women they don't understand how guys think they they barely understand how women think guys have you ever spoke to a western woman and in, 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 they're not very self aware they have no idea actually why they do the things that they do and it's the re- the reason for this is because they live in a world of constant lies oh shit these guys going for it oh man I could have gone for it too but my legs were really good. But yeah, they live in a world of lies, anger, 
delusion. And it's because they're lied to every day as well, right? Uh, but yeah, the simps, they're in, they're, guys, the simps are in trouble. And by the way, if you're a simp, you are in trouble. <laughs> and it's not just because of the Western men, it's because Western women, they're, you're going you're gonna to have to wait till the end. If you're a simp, you're going to have to wait till after she's been ran through after she's been hurt after she's already procreated with the Chad or the Tyrone or whoever and then you're going to get the one do you see what I'm saying you're going to have to wait a very 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 long time and not only that that doesn't, that doesn't guarantee anything because she's probably going to cheat women in general cannot be with effeminate men they just can't even the Karen Cockbenders of the world, they're gonna they're gonna step out because they're in charge. Guys, there is no such thing as 50-50. I need I need you guys to just you know take a deep breath and understand that nobody's equal in life. There is no such thing as 50-50. There never has been and there never will be. That's all theoretical, it sounds fantastic, but it's untrue. And the reason being is because there's always a dominant and there's always submissive I hate to say that but <laughs> you get where I'm going there's always somebody that leads and that's in charge and somebody that follows this is how humans are hardwired that's how they're designed there's no such thing as 50 guys there's no such thing as having two presidents there's one president there's one CEO of the company that's it one that leads and the rest follow and you'll you'll notice this even in lesbian relationships, gay relationships, you talk to them, there's always somebody that's in charge. It's somebody who follows. Always. <laughs> I want an equal partnership. No, you don't. You're full of shit. You're lying. What you want to do is be able to jump in when you want to, to try to take the reins when it suits you. And then when it doesn't, let go of the reins. And it doesn't work that way. We're not hardwired to do that. And that's why most of these progressive quote unquote relationships don't they don't work and that's why the 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 cheating you know women cheat more than men up to I think it's up age 30 yeah and that study has guys the studies are out there look it up these types of relationships don't work this type of crap it does not work and the simps are in for a world of hurt they really are it's not looking good for them <laughs> Yeah, they thought, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pedestalize them. We're gonna prioritize the women. They're gonna be they're better than you. They really have low self esteem. They really hate themselves. I remember when I was in my simping year, year and a half almost, and I just didn't. I hated myself at that time. I, I didn't value who I was, right? And I didn't believe that I could just go out there and be myself. And people would accept me for who I am. I felt like I had to be nice. I had to be fake. This fake version of myself to get women to be accepted by other people. And if you notice, that's very similar <laughs> to the dating coaches. You, you gotta have game. I'm dating coach Dan. <laughs> yeah. I'm dating coach Dan. You gotta have you gotta have a you gotta have a Lamborghini. Yeah. Just just to get garbage western. No man, get I was watching uh, some red pill content the other day, and man, this guy said he had a Toyota Corolla, and he was six foot two, and two hundred fifteen pounds, and he was struggling with women. And I was like, "Why don't you just get yourself a Lamborghini?" <laughs> That's how you're gonna get those Western ladies. <laughs> Daddy coach, Dan. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Guys jumping in. Loving the channel as always. We're getting more followers every day. Gen Alpha. <laughs> Had him get, in, get a quick shout out in. <laughs> I love it, guys. But yeah, the simps, the simps are in for a world of hurt. Dating coach Dan knows. I got cut off by those Gen Alpha kids. They love, they love the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> anyway, dating coach Dan says... That you need to send. You need you need a Lamborghini. You need seven figures. You need game and you need muscles to get garbage women. <laughs> Even though the average man only makes forty thousand dollars a year, countrywide. 
You still gotta get a Lamborghini. That's what, get rid of your Toyota Camry. Prioritize, because see, as a dating coach, you gotta be like the Sips. You have to prioritize women. Don't prioritize yourself. Don't prioritize yourself. Don't be like, don't be like these other jackasses, this guy with his light vest. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> dating coach, Dan. <laughs> this motherfucker. Guys, I, I, I'm watching this, this dating coach just because I'm curious now. You guys got me on the dating <laughs> And this guy's telling this poor kid, he's like 19. Well, he's not a kid, but you get what I'm saying. He's 19, and he's just looking for a little help, a little advice. And this fucking jackass is saying that he need. He's literally in college, and he has to get a... What's it called? Um, he said, no, man, that's a boring car. You need to upgrade. Dude, the kid is broke. He's going to college. Why would does he need to upgrade his car to get Western chicks? Do you see what I'm saying, guys? It, what they say makes absolutely no... They think that their... That their solution is for everybody to be like them and that's not how things work guys i don't want everybody out there who's watching me to be like me that's fucking retarded we all guys we're all different we're not equal at all we're all different and that's a good thing that's what i'm getting at it's okay to be different in fact it's a good thing because when we're different we get to know each other's differences that's how you get to know people like for example me I'm an entrepreneur, but that is not what I want most of you guys to do. I don't think that's a good idea for 99% of you. And the reason being is because being an entrepreneur is, is it, guys, it is incredibly difficult. And most people just want a normal nine to five job. That is nothing wrong with that. I'm never getting, whoa, you need to be, <laughs> dating coach Dan says you need to be an entrepreneur. These guys, man, these fucking dating coaches tell you, you got to be an entrepreneur. What the fuck is that all about? If you guys do want to do it, I'll show you how to do it. I've been doing it for decades now. But does, do I want the average guy to do that? Of course not. Do you know how much you got to risk? Do I want you risking your life savings on a shitty idea or a shitty venture? Of course not. The bottom line is, guys, it's okay if you guys are different, if you have different aspirations, if you have different, a different purpose. One size does not fit all. I disagree. Do you see what I mean? We're not all equal, and that's a good thing. We're all different. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. Dude, guys, for example, there's a guy. He goes to my gym. The guy's like maybe five foot six, five foot seven. He's about six inches shorter than me. And dude, this guy can lift. He can he can like deadlift. Dude, guys, the guy can dead. He's got legs the size of a fucking like a running back, just massive legs. And it's like. There is no way in hell I will ever be able to lift that as much as that guy. And it's not like I want to. It's not like I want to. It's not like I'm... It, it, but if, even if I like really trained, there's... No, guys, the guy is jacked. Do you see what I'm getting at? He has diff, He may be shorter than me, but he has different strengths and weaknesses that I, that I have. Do you get where I'm going at? And uh, don't worry, guys. It all ties back together. It's really quiet out today really quiet out hold on hold on hold on but yeah he, he just a just another example of somebody who's not necessarily better or worse just different and we have to embrace that fact guys the simps are different they're not equal <laughs> oh the simps are getting it oh come on you need to be nice <laughs> i'm not being nice to nobody i treat others the way they tr want to be treated and the way they treat me but yeah, guys, it, it, it's, it's not looking good for the little simps. And the Western, the Western women going down in flames, the simps can't even save them. That's the most fascinating part, guys. The simps can't save them. Because either what women are doing is they're either doubling down on their bullshit. The Western women are doubling down on, you know, I'm strong and independent, I don't need a man, and pretty much living out on the streets. Or they're panicking. They're going to OnlyFans. They're going to Seeking sugar daddies etc etc oh i'll be submissive i'll be nice ah interesting huh they're either going so far away from the sims well they're either going completely away from the sims or they're going uh towards the sims but even the sims aren't bailing them out even this 
the simps are trying are starting to catch wind of all this and that's what i find absolutely fa fascinating which is also accelerating the decline of the simps because eventually there's going to be so much information that most simps are not going to be bailing women out right it's fascinating guys it's i, I don't hate the simps i just think they're going they're going about things the wrong way but they can do whatever they want it's just i want you guys to know to not be worried about you know all this crap if you don't want to be but if you put your foot down and you start being more masculine you're going to speed up the decline of the simps you're going to speed up the decline of the western women when you start going overseas guys that's the worst the government is shitting their pants and don't think they haven't noticed the fucking uh what is it the uh irs you think they want their going tax their tax dollars going overseas uh-uh guys so either they're going to change the laws or they're going to try to capture some of that revenue before you get the hell out of here. You see what I mean? But it's it's fascinating, guys. It's a fascinating conundrum for the little Western ladies. I don't enjoy seeing them fail. It's just kind of hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's fun. Guys, we've been telling these, these bitches for fucking four decades that, you know, their shit isn't working and they need to listen and they didn't want to listen. So... I don't know what to tell them. I know a lot of you guys feel bad for them, but I don't really feel bad for them. It's just more amusing. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> you know, they start whimpering. They start crying, little crocodile tears. Oh, that makes me laugh the most. You guys already know that. I'm completely amused by that. That, that. <laughs> oh, I was abused. He was so abusive. I could, I was so turned on at first by his abuse, but then, oh, then he broke my heart a million times. He turned me into Gen Z Kelly. Oh, no, I have nothing. Oh, but the thousand cock stare. I, I can't get the thousand cock stare down yet, but I will get it, guys. It's just like they. <laughs> I can't even. It's so. Oh man, Gen Z is really. If you're a Gen Z guy, guys. I, I almost envy you. You guys think I'm crazy. I'm Gen X. I'm a young Gen X, but I actually, I, I, I almost envy you because when you guys get out of this, when you guys get past Gen Z women and you get Gen Alpha, oh, pfft, you guys are going to be, you guys are going to be very, very, very happy. You guys are going to be bouncing around, having a good old time, getting into some serious trouble <laughs> with the Gen Alpha women. Guys, you're going to be very happy with the Gen Alpha women. Oh yes, you will. You watch. You watch. You mark my words. If you're a Gen Z, guy, and if you're any, if you're any, uh, any age guy, you're gonna have fun with Gen Alpha guys. Mark my words. You think Gen Z is out of control? Gen Alpha is gonna be even more out of. <laughs> they're they're gonna be out of control in the beginning, and then just drop right off after they see what Gen, how badly Gen Z is just doing a phase plant. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. I thought, guys, you, you I thought my generation was bad. My generation was full of sluts. There were still some good girls left, but not many. You know what I mean? Gen X. Some, but not really. Those are pretty... Almost all good girls had, had died off around, uh, you know, the silent generation. <laughs> like, truly good, good girls that stayed with their husband till death. And then baby boomers fucked up everything. Holy shit, did they do a... Oh, hippie love. Oh, we're hippies. Oh, free love. Peace and... Fucking hippie, dude. There's nobody I want to slap more than those goddamn hippies. Those are the most annoying people in the. Anyway, and then Gen X came along. Man, we got our asses kicked. We were the first latchkey kid generation. To... Oh, pfft. that was brutal. Guy, we were the first generation to experience all the divorces, and that fucked us up bad. Oh boy, that's what. <laughs> that's why Gen X is so cynical and so, just in general, we I'm just like yeah fuck you we just had this bad attitude but <laughs> then the millennials with the helicopter parenting now gen z oh my god fucking every guys i've literally seen women on my sugar daddy apps that i'm on and they literally at 18 years old have full body tattoos on their faces on their necks on the, guys and they got the thousand cocks there Barely 18. How the fuck? That means they've been doing this shit for years. Do you guys get it? 
how bad it is. They're, they're so ran through. Their bodies look horrible. Some of these 18-year-olds look like they're in their fucking 30s. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, the poor Gen Z. They're in, a, they're in a world of hurt. It's true, guys. But, you know, we need to go through these painful times to come out on top and to enjoy ourselves. And we will. Oh, guys, if you're watching this channel, you... You, are, you guys are going to have unbelievable lives, period. And I'm not even tooting my own horn. There's so many men out there that are just quietly doing their thing, enjoying themselves, having a great time. And guys, even if you're, whether you're young, old, it doesn't matter. You guys can turn it around at any time and enjoy your life. You can turn it around even if you're in your 40s. It's insane. Guys can literally keep reinventing themselves over and over. Girls can't do that, guys. That's why they hate us so much. <laughs> oh, we can do it. We can do all the things that we forget. Guys, you understand? I went to college twice. I never told. I never told you guys. I went to college twice. I had to re redo my college experience because I fucked up the first time around. And you know what's ironic? The second time around, I got more ass than the first time <laughs> because the little young girl they're like, "Oh my god, he's in his thirties. Oh, that's hot." <laughs> Anyway, guys, it's just funny. We can we can keep reinventing ourselves. So even, guys, even if you're an incel virgin, even if you're struggling with women and all this, guys, you're not alone. We're going to get the last laugh. It's, it's, I actually feel bad for the Western ladies in that regard. And then I laugh at them. Feel bad for them, then laugh at them. But yeah, simping will die off. It can't, it can't sustain itself without the Western women being in pain, hurt, being dead and that's another reason why the simps are starting to wake up a lot of simps are starting to wake up I, i'd say simping probably peaked around the 90s gentlemen that's when it, you guys think it's bad now it was worse it was it was worse in the 90s in my opinion because there weren't as many masculine men every guy was saying oh you need to be sensitive and all this and all this political correctness right now though it, it, it's 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 at a dead halt it's being stopped by all the masculinity that's coming out. You know what I mean? They tried to cancel Andrew Tate. Look at him, man. He came back stronger than ever. He, he was on Piers Morgan. He was on, uh, what was he on the other day? He was on something else the other day. Guys, he's everywhere now. He was on WWE. Wrestling. How, how much more mainstream is that? They were calling him out on wrestling. I was like, dang. Dude, this guy's getting free publicity left and right. It's incredible, guys. And now I don't agree with everything he says in terms of you know, he he he's he's talking more about Western women and all. You guys already know I, the Western women are done. We gotta let them fail. But as in as far as his message goes and helping guys and all, the, it's always the same message from Red Pill guys, helping guys out, right? Keeping us on our on the straight and narrow, making sure that the message continues, delivering it in different ways. Mine is just if you're going to date get the traditional foreign and guys there's plenty of traditional foreign that come to the goddamn united states if you live in the united states they come to you the big cities all the time every day all the time you don't have to deal with western you don't you don't have to deal with any of that crap at all you can get foreign traditional at pretty much any time it's spectacular and a lot of times guys you may not even notice because foreign traditional women are very quiet. They're shy. They're they're kind of they're more nerdy usually. Like a little more nerdy. Oh. Little shy. Giggle giggle. The eight guys, tons. If you guys love Asian chicks, they come to LA all the time. All the fucking time. East Coast too as well. New York. They go to the big cities. Very cute. And wear their little boots. They get cold very easily because they're small. <laughs> they don't have a lot of body fat. <laughs> they're adorable. And if you approach them and just say hello to them, they'll be very nice. They, they might get a little nervous. They might get a little scared. Because remember, guys, they're very cutesy. They're very gentle. They might get a little nervous, but you can't. I know I always say don't cold approach, but that's for Western women. For foreign traditional. Guys, they'll fucking approach you. You go to coffee shops, anything like that, foreign, traditional. Foreign, traditional. Now, you might run into a bunch of foreign liberal, because a lot of foreign liberal women do come to the United States. But you're going to meet a couple foreign traditional as well. 
a lot. You're going to be blown the fuck away, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. All the fucking time. They're so easy to... Pro- I was at the gym. This is a couple of years back. And it, sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm not going to lie. But this little Vietnamese, just cute as button. And I look at her and she looks at me and we smile at each other. And I'm like, oh, damn. Sweet. Let's see if I can close the deal. I go up to her on the, one of the ad machines. Just say hey to her. Hello. Guys, it was so simple and so easy. Because they're friendly. They're, they're easy to get along with. There's, guys, there's no fighting with foreign... When you guys go overseas... At, okay, first start in America. Go to the little uh, ethnic markets. Uh, in, uh, like in LA, we have Mitsuwa. We have a bunch of like Japanese. That's where they go. And they're raised traditional. Some of them are a little more liberal, though. Watch out. Go over go in my uh, past video, traditional foreign versus liberal foreign. You can't settle down with the liberal foreigns, guys. It doesn't work. But you can settle down with the traditional foreign. And by the way, if you just want to date just higher class, higher quality, if you're maybe like you feel more self-conscious. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to drink more water, guys. It's dry out today. <coughs> what the hell? If you guys want to just date, maybe you just want to practice. Maybe you just want to meet somebody new, somebody interesting. You go after the foreign liberal. I promise you guys, you will be very, very happy. Very happy. Much happier than with the little Western ladies. God, i got to get some water. Anyway, bottom line is, the simps are dying. <laughs> the simps are taking L's. The simps are getting beat the hell up. And they're getting beat up by Red Pill. They're getting beat up by Manosphere. And of course, they're going to fight back and they're going to, you know, kick and scream. But you guys already know, masculinity always trounces everything. Guys, if every man turned Red Pill right now in this entire country, do you think there'd be any feminism? No, guys. Do you think there would be any tantrums and bitchiness and masculine behavior? No, guys. It would be gone in a heartbeat. It would be fucking completely eliminated. Because women are not warriors, guys. They are not leaders. That's not what they do. Period. All that shit would die off. Now, would there still be feminist bitches? Of course there would be. Because remember, they were raised by their parents to be that way. But if every man turned red pill and the the system started to right itself, <laughs> feminism would die off pretty fucking quickly, guys. The family structure would be much stronger. It would take about a generation, though, right? It would take a full generation to, to get where we want it to be. But it would be a lot stronger than it is right now. Because the family unit right now is in shambles. And that's why it's going to take several generations to right all these issues. Because you got the you got the women out here being little sluts and thinking that's perfectly okay. Kicking the man out of the home. Guys, the government encourages it. The government wants simps to keep paying and to keep getting screwed. But I'm over all that shit. I don't know about you guys. I don't think so. And the little Western ladies, they have, they're, they're learning the hard way. They're learning the hard way. And they are, unfortunately, the recipients of all of this shit. They're going to have to learn. And they're going to have to become accountable. But it's already, guys, it's already too late for the Western ladies. We've already, we know this. It's just, they will learn, but it's already going to be too late. And it is. <laughs> you see, guys, you see them all the time. Red, I don't know if you guys watch other YouTube, like a lot of YouTube channels uh, with women red pill content creators. They're, al- they're already, they, <laughs> and they're all over the hill. That's the funny part. <laughs> they're all like in their 30s and 40s. I'm like, who are these wrinkly, who are these wrinkly cunts? Man, women need to be submissive. Maybe you should have thought about that 25 years ago. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love rubbing. I definitely love rubbing it in their face. It is entertaining. <laughs> watching them fall. Watching them crumble. Walking home to their little kitties. Hey, kid. Guys, <laughs> it's so bad there's actual pet moms now. Oh, boy. The si- Brilliant job, simps. Great. You guys did some great work. 
You empowered women to fail. Brilliant. <laughs> do, you, do, you understand, do you guys understand how stupid... Literally, we, we have women now saying, God damn it, we had it made. And these motherfuckers, we just had... A lot of women, you know, they are taking responsibility. <laughs> but they, what they don't understand is that the guys pushed... The guys gave in. We got to take the L on that one, guys. We gave in. We gave in as a, as a gender. Whereas we should have told them, shut the fuck up and get back in the kitchen. Get your fat ass on this goddamn treadmill, you lazy bitch. I don't wanna, it's too hard. I don't give a fuck. Then you're getting out of this. It's okay to be hard on women, guys. I, I know a lot of you guys think that maybe I'm not harder than in real life. Oh, yes, I am. I ha- cuz guys you have to understand something for me I don't care if they come or go I don't really I, it it makes no difference if they stay or go and that's why it's so effective you see what I mean because the simps are taking L's right now they're taking L's the si- the simps the simps <laughs> oh never mind <laughs> the Sims are taken out. <laughs> I always try to get them in within the earshot, see what happens. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if the uh, fight broke out in this video, guys? That'd be hilarious. You'd see me swing. I, I, I would try to keep the camera. I would like swing my right arm <laughs> or my left arm, <laughs> and then switch hands and try to keep the camera. That would be very difficult, guys. You have to understand, none of this is staged. It's all real. <laughs> I do this out in the real fucking world. I'm crazy, guys. I want this channel to be as <laughs> ever. <laughs> I want this channel to be so raw. What are you, what are you saying about my girlfriend? I'm a, you saying I'm a simp? I'll see be like, yeah, bitch, I'm calling you a simp. Try something. And then I'll just put the camera like this. I'll be like, all right, guys. I, I, might, I might take a couple licks, though, to be honest. <laughs> I might take a couple of the chin if I'm trying to, like, coordinate a video while <laughs> fighting. That would be very difficult. But it might be absolutely hilarious, and it might go viral. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking funny? You see me like fall over the trash can. Oh, God damn it. Dude, you guys... <laughs> all I would see is like replays, at, uh, like a replay spike at that point over and over. <laughs> I would have to clip it and put it as a short. Because guys, I don't have... I, I'm not... I don't have an ego about this stuff. You guys could tell. I don't have an ego about this. The bo- <laughs> But it would be fucking hilarious. If I got in a fight with the simp... And I just kick him right in his balls. Oh, and then I just show you guys. He's on the ground. <laughs> God, I would get in a lot of trouble for that, though, probably. Who knows? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, the little simps. Guys, the simps did a number on the Western ladies. They just let them run amok. They just let them do whatever they wanted. Like, everything the girls asked for, they said, okay. But I don't operate that way, guys. I'm a dead serious. When I'm not doing this shit, I'm hard on the little bitches. I'm not nice to them. I'm like, a, guys, if, if they're not on time, I leave. Like, if, you, if I'm meeting up with a woman at a specific location or if they're supposed to come over, guys, if they're not on time, blocked. Bye. If they're a fucking minute late, you guys think I'm joking. I'm extraordinary. Because, guys, there's no other way to do these things. And the reason why I bring this up is because when you guys let them slide on these things... I'm, guys, you don't have to be as hard as me on, on them as me. But every time you let them slide, you are proving that essentially that you're beneath them. That you are sending. That they are a priority. And I learned a long time ago that the women are not a priority. They aren't. Not at all. <laughs> And that's why for me, <laughs> that's why for me, <laughs> see, they're not a priority. That's why for me, I don't let them get away with those things. I just don't. And guess what? I feel great afterwards. <laughs> you guys might think, oh man, but see, you could, you know, you could hook up with them and all this. Who cares? It's irrelevant. In the long run, it's irrelevant because you have to draw the line somewhere and you guys need to set your own standards. And that's why I always have, I always, I talk about you guys having action plans and you guys setting standards. You are the priority. 
we're the priority, period. Whether people like it or not. I don't really give a shit if they don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I don't care if they don't like it. I don't care if women complain about me to their little friend. Who gives a shit? And by the way, when I go back in monk mon mode, they complain. They you, What they do is they say, oh, that's awesome. But then they start complaining. Are you out of monk mode yet? What are you up to? For real, guys. Because when you do not prioritize them, you are in control. Not only of your life, but her life. Isn't that twisted? It's so fucked up. I know, guys. <laughs> simping, simping doesn't work. And that's why the little simps are going to... Well, they're going get, to keep getting pummeled. And number two, they're going to start dying off. They can't... They literally cannot exist without the little Western ladies getting trampled by Western men and Western men going overseas. Guys, at this point in time, not just average men are going overseas. Not just poor men are going overseas. Guys with money are going overseas. It's, it's not looking good, guys. The Western women are in trouble. That's why the simps don't want you to leave. They know if you leave, the Western women leave. The Western women won't be hurt by you, and therefore, they cannot get the simp. I mean, the simp can't get them. I know, guys, it, it's, it's crazy. But without you breaking the little Western women's hearts, without you trampling all over them, even, guys, even if you're not a Chad or a Tyrone, the Western women need you here. They need you here. Because if you're watching this channel, you probably got a backbone. Even if you feel like a simp, even if you're an incel virgin, it doesn't matter, you still got a backbone. Anybody who's watching this type of stuff has a backbone, has a spine, doesn't put up with jack shit. Or maybe just doesn't put up with a couple things. We've all put up with the crap, guys. But as you get older, as you learn, that changes rapidly. Oh, yes. I can't see who's that, who's out there, but... How's it going? But, uh, yeah, it's... It's a little bit of an experience, but it's also working on yourself. You need to work on yourself. I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys to work on yourself. What I'm going to say is you can fix your insecurities, things that you want to improve on for yourself, but I would never say improve anything about you to get garbage Western women ever, not even to get traditional women. If they don't like you for who you are, too fucking bad. And that's the best part about the little traditional foreign See, I always tie it back all together. The little traditional foreign ladies, guys, they don't care about your penis size. They don't care about your height. They don't care about your money. They don't care about what you drive. Do you guys understand most people worldwide don't even drive a car? <laughs> they don't... Guys, I was in Hong Kong. Nobody drove a fucking car. The only people that drove cars were fucking Uber drivers and taxis. When I was in China, nobody fucking drove. Unless you're like uber, uber rich. Like top 1%. You walk everywhere. You take public transportation. It's way better than America. <laughs> you see what I mean? It made no sense. There's no, there's no cars there. So nobody gives a shit about what you drive. They don't ask you those stupid types of things. You know what I mean? When you go overseas, it's very, very different. Very different. And by the way, they don't ask you what you do. That's another thing a lot of you guys don't understand is when you go foreign traditional, foreign traditional women do not ask you what your job is. Unless they're look, unless you're like about to get married or something like that. They don't care about your fucking... They ask about your character. They're trying to connect with you guys. A lot of you guys don't believe me, but you're going to see. And this is another reason why simps, they're never going to, they're never going to continue. They can't pass down simping from generation to generation. Just like Western women can't pass down West, uh, feminism and Western ideology from generation to gener generation. See how dark it is, guys? I can't even see the sand. It gets kind of dark out here. Just making sure there's no serial killers over here. I'm a blue pill simp. Look at me. I'm wearing blue. I'm Simpy Sam Weekle. Oh! Oh, I just had an orgasm talking about women. <laughs> I just had an orgasm talking about women. I'm, I'm scaring the people around here. They're looking at me kind of funny. Because I'm Sippy Sam. That's what I am. See, what you have to do when you're a simp is you have to have a couple orgasms. Periodically. Orgasms of 
softness and happiness. And you have to kiss the Western lady, lady's ass. It's okay if you're fat. I, I'm Simpy Sam. I've never been with a thin woman in my entire life, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. I love, I love women of all shapes and sizes. Even when they're lard asses that just roll down the hills. Yeah, I love those women. Don't you? <laughs> oh, that son of a bitch is crazy. Anyway, yeah. We got a lot of things going on, I guess. A lot of things going on in this country. And it's a civil war. Masculine versus simp. Who's going to win? Hmm. I wonder. Guys, the simps will not make it in the long run. First of all, they don't procreate enough. Yeah, have you guys noticed the vast majority of men who procreate are masculine? Isn't that intriguing? I wonder why. And the, the way that you can even... You can extrapolate this from a small part of society. Black people only make up about 10% of society, which is fascinating. But 80% of the children are produced by 20% of the men. Not surprising. I wonder who those top 20% are. Hmm. Maybe they're all the Tyrones out there? Maybe. It's fascinating, isn't it, guys? But as you can see, Westernism, Western ideology, simping, that type of stuff cannot last forever. You can't. And if you guys do cha choose to stay in America, you're going to have to wait a few generations to get the much more feminine women. It's going to take a while. As I've already warned you guys, it's not going to get better at any time. It's Within our lifetimes, it's not going to get to the, to the levels that you guys want it to be at, right? To the levels of... Tra to, become, to get to the levels of traditional foreign women, it's going to take about 40 to 50 years, give or take. Because it took about 60 years for us to just get to where we are right now. You got, I, a lot of you guys may not know this, but Western women used to be very feminine, very, very nurturing, very accommodating, easy to get along with. My grandmother's generation, holy cow, my grandfather's generation, guys, all of their friends, all the people that they knew, it was unbelievable. They all had like these stable, committed relationships. No, there was no, there was no like uh, tantrums or, you know, crazy, insane behavior and all this entitlement. Oh, my grandparents, <laughs> hey, how's it going? My grandparents are rolling around in their graves right now, looking at all this craziness that's going on. And by the way, guys, you guys may think, oh, well, I'm just old and all this crap. Guys, I see things for what they are. I've, al I've always known this is where it was going. That's why I never really settled down. Because I knew that this was where it was headed. I'm always ahead of the game, guys. And by the way, if it ever gets to the point... Let's, let's say, let's say, say, just say, for example, Western women turn, got their act together and the foreign traditional women became bitches and all this crap... I'm just saying, in theory, I wouldn't lead you guys down that path. This is the winner's legion, guys. This is where we win. This is where we cut. We're for. We're out for blood, guys. We're out here to kick ass and take names. Period. That means we're gonna ruffle some feathers. That means some people are gonna hate this. This is never going to be the vast majority of men. I already know that. The vast majority of men are gonna stay in the you know Western society that are in Western society in whichever home country they're in, right? Now, will Western men turn this shit around? Of course they will. It's, a, it's just going to take a long time. I'm saying during that time period, if you guys really want to be in a, tr a committed relationship, go foreign traditional. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Do not bring her to the United States. Do not do it. You are going to be back in Simpville. The reason being because the laws do not favor us. And if you bring her back here, domestic violence laws apply, guys. She can get a green card just by, by, just by whispering domestic violence. Oh, yeah, guys. It's not in plus. Not only that, you, get, you have to sponsor her. You guys don't understand what it means to bring a woman back to the States. Sponsor. If she doesn't work. 
You guys got to think ahead, guys. I know you want, sometimes you just want to think with your dick, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Am I going in circles? So quiet out tonight. I'm screaming. Everybody, you know, got people looking at me and shit. But uh, the bottom line is, do not bring them here. Because then you are back at square one. <clears throat> Plus, they don't want to come here anyway. Guys, most foreign traditional women could, don't want to leave. They don't want to leave their country. Check out my Red Flags video for dating foreign women. So you understand the pitfalls. So you understand how to win. Period. You st- you're going to have to stay in her country. If you're... What you guys don't understand is even if you're an average looking guy, just an average dude, you're going to get a smoking hot chick in the Philippines. You guys think I'm kidding. <laughs> you Guys, you'll see. You're going to shit your pants. And by the way, I'm going back. I'm going to go to the Philippines to 100% confirm. I haven't been there yet. But when I was in East Asia, plenty of Filipinas there. Plenty. When I was in Macau, plenty of Fi- Filipinas are everywhere. They're like the perfect mixture of Hispanic and Asian. Unbelievable. They're everywhere. <laughs> and they're so friendly. Hello. They're, they always walk up. They're always like, hello, handsome. How are you doing? And, you know, they're, they're, always, they're always trying to sing. They're, their whole culture is hilarious to me, guys. They're always doing karaoke and stuff. Very nice people, guys. They're all so friendly, always accommodating and warm. And a lot of them come to the United States. Oh, my God. We've got whole cities here full of Filipinos. Incredible, nice people, unbelievably friendly. Just the best, one of, one of the, my most favorite cultures of all time. I'm definitely going to the Philippines. There's no doubt about it. They're less cold than the little Chineses. I like Chineses, but Filipinos are amazing people. Love them. Very cool. But the bottom line is do not bring your traditional foreign woman to the States. Not until the laws change, and they're not changing anytime soon. All right? Even if she stays foreign traditional, guess what? She's going to be miserable. Because she's going to have Western women telling her to divorce your ass every five seconds. <laughs> no, guys. Uh-uh. The little foreign ladies are not for the United States. They're, not, they're just not for Western society. It's not for them. They, guys, if you really want them to come back with you, they will. But they're going to be very sad and very depressed and you're going to suffer too and she's going to be away from her family guys they don't do guys aren't women are not good travelers I don't care what they say oh I'm traveling around the world Turks and Caicos guys they're not good travelers they're awful travelers women are terrible at traveling terrible they require too much uh, what's it called luggage number one Uh, what else well, number one, luggage. Number two, they need all their personal belongings, all this other crap that's really irrelevant. They never leave the resort. They don't like going off of the be- beaten path and just going to random locations. They're terrible travelers, guys. <laughs> They're not good at it. Because you have to understand, guys, women are very social creatures. They need to be close to their family. Guys can leave the family, be perfectly fine, but the little ladies, uh-uh. They don't do well when mom's not around, especially traditional women. Traditional woman's life is family, right? Now, you're going to make your own family with her, but she's going to be depressed. She's going to be depressed. She's not going to be close to her family. So think ahead, guys. Just think ahead. But this is another reason why the little simps are losing. The simps cannot get traditional foreign women, and they can barely get Western women after the Western women have been broken by the Western uh, chads, Tyrones, masculine men, whatever you want to call them. Yep, it's a clusterfuck, guys. And it, it's it's surprising how it's surprising how uh, what's it called simps and Western women actually procreate because they're both so effed in their brain. You know what I mean? It really is fascinating. <laughs> but regardless guys we're going to have our fun we're going to let things it's, it's going to be awesome for us no matter what happens we're going to end up laughing laughing our asses off for many years to come yeah the little ladies are screwed guys western women and simps 
they're in a world of hurt. The Western women love the simps but hate them. Because weakness is repulsive to women. Weakness makes women, all women, want to vomit. Oh, they, oh, they always say, oh, but, being, you know, if he, if he cries in front of me, that's perfectly fine. Guys, it turns them off. They're repulsed. Women will, guys, women will never tell you the truth because if you get the truth, you're going to be able to manipulate them. Adam bomb dropped. If you know the truth, you can manipulate them. And women, their only weapon in life is to manipulate your dumbass. Ooh, damn. That guy has like a... Oh, he drove away pretty fast. It's like a... One of those really expensive... What the hell is that? It wasn't a Lotus. It was a... McLaren? There's always expensive cars here, guys. In LA, there's Bentleys and... You know, Lambos and... Oh, man, my legs are crippled. Always, always expensive cars. LA, in LA, you either hustle or you're a bum. There's really not much in between. It's crazy. But yeah, guys, if you have even, if you can manipulate women, they have nothing. If they can't manipulate you with the idea of sex, they're asked out. If you go back to a Western woman's playbook, they really only have three or four manipulation plays. For real. Uh, let's see. Number one, top, top one for Western women is damsel in distress. Oh my God, my car broke down. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. Call AAA, bitch. <gasps> he didn't sit for me. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> they freak out. Oh. <laughs> they freak the fuck out. <laughs> when you don't, when you, <laughs> when you don't fall for their playbook. Let me look through my playbook real quick. He didn't fall for my manipulation. Shit! Oh. Well, then they'll try this one. Here, uh, the availability play. Oh, well, are, are you available tonight? I'm free now. Oh, that's the good one. That's a real good one. I'm free now. And then you go, no, I'm fucking busy for the next few days. Then they go, oh, shit. He's got options. Oh, uh, let me, let me, let me keep looking through my playbook. Let me see if I can manipulate his ass. Um, you know, uh, are you seeing anybody else? Yeah, I've got him lined up. Oh my God, he's got tons of options. I can't manipulate him. Oh, they give up. They either give up or they chase you. This, this is how mentally ill the Western women are. But do you see how the simp would fail all those? Oh, of course I'll save you. Oh, you're a damsel in distress. No problem. Oh! <laughs> that, that's the simp orgasm. <laughs> that's just, Oh, man. That guy, dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> that's the simp orgasm. <laughs> oh, God. Of course I'll save you. Your car broke down. Where are you? Right? <laughs> oh, they, they, they jump on their little moped. They put their helmet on. <laughs> They'll race right out out there at half a mile per hour. You know? And she, if she says, oh, are you available tonight? Of course, of course. We could talk for hours and hours. And I'll never, I'll never try to, to try to touch you. Of course. <laughs> That's what the simp, the simp has priority. Guys, we've all made the, these mistakes. I'm not, I know I'm making fun of it, but we've all done this. Come on, don't lie. You simped. We prioritize the little ladies. <laughs> and then number three, they'll go, are you seeing anybody else? And you'll be like, no, 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 I'm not seeing anybody else. Completely free. Western women are mentally ill. Let's just be honest. They want somebody who's a fantasy. They want somebody who is an alpha Chad, who is a jerk. They'll never tell you, guys, if they tell you this, and by the way, that's if you want to get Western women, guys. I'm not saying to run game and all this crap. If you want a Western woman, this is what you have to be. You have to be fake. That's the problem I have with all these stupid dating coaches and game and all this. It's a game. You have to be fake. I don't want to be fake. Do you want to be fake? I don't want to be fake. I don't think so. I like being myself. I like 
being who I am. Running game. <laughs> Dating coach. D Ow. Let's run some game. I don't think so. I'm an alpha Chad. I run game all day. Yeah, buddy. I'm like Karen Cockbender, but just more aggro. I got balls on my car, son. Alpha Chad. No, call me Alpha Adam. AA. Call me AA Ron. Alpha Al uh, Alpha Adam, that's me. Fuck that shit. This is what you need to do to get Western. This is what you need to do to get Western women, guys. There it's it's so it's so playbook. Textbook. If you guys want to do that, go right ahead. I don't recommend it, but if that's what you want to do, if you want to get Western women, that's what you can do. But we don't I, I don't do that over here at this channel. I want you guys to be yourselves and enjoy your fucking life. And guys, it's not like I don't want you to get any ass. If you want to get ass, you can get ass. You can get foreign liberal ass. Line the fuck up. Because plenty of them want to be with a Westerner. Plenty. And there's four fucking billion, whatever, foreign women out there. All the way from Asian to Latin American to Black African from the fucking uh, from that continent to Russian to Eastern European. Plenty of them lined the fuck up. They'll drain your goddamn balls. Guaranteed. I don't guarantee much in this life, but I guarantee that. <laughs> Running game. I'm a game artist. Shut the fuck. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I'm i dating Coach Dan. I use stuff from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I got a little simpy Sam right there, but then I went right back to dating Coach Dan. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The fucking simps. But the look, guys, the simps are going to learn that lesson. They're going to die off, just like the Western women. It's not going to last. It's not going to stand the test of time. It can't, by default. There's nothing we can do for them. Let them fail. Let them die off. We're going to enjoy our little traditional foreign ladies. Monk mode. The whole nine yards. <sighs> it's going to be good times, guys. You watch. Stick with me. We're going to kick ass. Until next time, I'm watching you. Let's get to it!